Hey guys, you ever been working in your vault after your PDM upgrade and you can't find your toolbox? Well, this Q-tip might be for you. So after you do your upgrade, if you're using toolbox that's being managed inside SolidWorks PDM, then you want to make sure that your toolbox is in the vault and that your users have the right permissions. After you do your upgrade, there's a couple of things that can go wrong. The database may not be upgraded, and that's one item we'll get into. And then the other item that can go wrong is that your toolbox files.index file can be missing or outdated. So let's take a look at the first case. Let's make sure that the toolbox database is upgraded. Now, one of the things that you'll do when, after you do your upgrade is to go to your SolidWorks installation folder for the new version of SolidWorks that you've upgraded to. If you go to Program Files, SolidWorks Core, whichever folder you install SolidWorks into, Toolbox, and Data Utilities. From here, you'll actually run Update Browser Database. This is the database that will be managed by your PDM Toolbox. This will be the source database that you're updating from. So this will be the database that you're accustomed to using, and this will be the database that you use as the seed or the source for updating your Toolbox. In order to update this database, it needs to be checked out you would go into your PDM vault, into your toolbox folder, and you would check out this file. Then once you're ready to do the update, you click update. But let's take note of one thing. The database version and the update version are always going to be critical here. Right now, SolidWorks 2020 is on version 23 of this database. All right, so that, that takes care of that. And oh, by the way, if you click update and then the box just disappears, that's because you need to run this tool as the administrator. All I did was double click it, but really what you need to do is right click on it and run as administrator. But then you would click update and then you should see a small progress bar and it'll go by pretty quickly, depending on the size of your database. Let's move on to the second case scenario. That's whenever your toolbox files.index file may be corrupt or missing or is not the right version or is not your same one that you've been working with. We recently ran into an upgrade scenario where the toolbox files.index file was actually missing all of these components. And so every one of these folders were empty. They should have actually have contents in them. And then the ones that you want to see need to be checked. So if these are ever empty, that's the first indicator that your toolbox files.index file is corrupt or the wrong version. Let's close this out. Our toolbox is being managed by SolidWorks PDM. If you look inside your PDM administration tool, expand SolidWorks and then go to toolbox. If you double click on toolbox, you'll be able to see where that toolbox is being managed. In our case, we have to check the box, manage SolidWorks toolbox in the vault. We're going to access the toolbox using the logged in user's permissions. Here's the folder where the file is being stored. And then we're going to search subfolders for toolbox parts on assembly check-in. Toolbox is a great tool. It, it, for collaboration, having this inside your PDM vault can be a tremendous asset for your design team, especially with all of the remote working that everyone is doing with, with the pandemic. So moving on, once we click OK here, PDM does some special stuff in the background to make sure that your toolbox is being managed centrally from PDM. Then if we go to SolidWorks, if we go to the whole wizard and toolbox folder and we have it selected and then we can use the configure here, we should be able to have everything in place so that everyone's SolidWorks points to the same place. We have the ability to check out the toolbox as we're doing the work that we need to on a daily basis. What we need to do next is check the add-in to make sure that it's loaded. After we've already checked the settings, let's just go in here and check the add-in, make sure that it's loaded. Click on the arrow, the down arrow next to your gear, or if you can go to tools and then options, but mine I keep right over here, tools, right next to here, add-ins. I usually like to make this a little bit bigger, make sure I don't miss anything. Sliding down through here, SolidWorks Toolbox Library, I have it loaded now. And then I also like to make sure that it's loaded on startup. Some companies don't, and that's okay because your toolbox may be very large. Click OK. On the Add-ins tab over here, we have the Design Library. Expand that. Under Toolbox, we should have a down arrow. We First, when we're highlighting Toolbox, we should see all of the folders that are in here in our Toolbox as we saw them just a moment ago. This content is all driven by the toolbox files.index file. If you were to expand toolbox, you'll see each one of these folders separately. You should not have to add to your design library or add a folder here. This should all be pulling in automatically. If it's not, give us a call. We'll walk you through this. We'll make sure that everything is connected and working the correct way for you. If I expand ANSI inch, we'll see just like we did earlier, bearings, bolts and screws, jig bushings, keys, nuts. If we expand those, we should see these ball bearings. Or if we look down here and we look at the nuts, we've got hex flats, hex nuts, 
hex slotted, and we can drop these into our design as needed. Hopefully today's Q-tips have been helpful for you. If you've run into any of this problem before and you're having some difficulty finding out how exactly to make this happen, especially after this upgrade, and it is upgrade season, grab a meeting time with us and we'll walk through this with you. First consultation is free. We've got lots of tools and lots of solutions that'll help you get through these tough times. Thanks again for watching. Believe in the queue.